Good morning. It's the 21st of May, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci. Welcome to the next 100 seconds. We've been seeing a lot of work done over the last couple of weeks about opening things back up as we head into the chronic phase of the pandemic. The kids will be going back to school in New South Wales starting on Monday, and that means that workers can return to work. But that introduces a whole other set of problems. Not only do we have the problem of social distancing on public transport and the fact that we're going to be directing people to take cars to drive into work, which is going to produce huge traffic jams, we have the issue of lifts in office buildings. Sydney has a lot of very tall office buildings. They have have sort of 20 elevators to service thousands of people. Now, that's normally not a problem when you can crowd 10 or 15 people into an elevator. You can't do that right now. In fact, if we were observing proper social distancing, you'd only fit two people into an elevator car. It would take approximately six hours to fill up a building of about 6,000 people. And then you'd have to empty it again. So that's not a goer. So they've decided as of yesterday to relax the distancing restrictions for the duration of elevators. Now, that means you can't crowd into an elevator, but it also means you can't leave an elevator empty. Now, how that's going to work, if that's going to work well, will that be a vector for a second wave of disease transmission? These are all questions. This is all an experiment. We don't know. What it means is that we radically do need to rethink work, just as Jacinda Adern is in New Zealand going to four-day weeks or recommending that we do. We need to rethink how we come into the office, how we spend time in the office, and how we leave the office. All of it needs to be rethought. And that's 100 seconds.